and he was just wonderful to work with as a colleague, as an actor. He was a really giving, um, really vulnerable as well, which uh, is kind of hard for men a lot of times, especially when they're auditioning with a woman. They kind of sometimes get a little bit insecure about that, whereas Dylan was completely open and we worked on the scene together and it kind of just worked. It flew, flew by. It was wonderful. I think Wes brings consistency, first of all. I think it's so rare to have a director do all three movies in a franchise, and that is so wonderful um, because he knows the story inside out. He knows the rhythm. He knows the aesthetic that he wants. He's been thinking about this for four years, um, and that's really valuable. And also, as an actor, it's wonderful to work with a director who's consistent because he knows how I work. He's fun. He's excited. He loves everything about movie making. Uh, he is not there to cash in a paycheck. Uh, he really genuinely loves building a world and building a story and, and telling it. Um, he gets excited over what lens to use and what lights to use and the scope of, of the visuals. And um, he just puts so much of himself into it. I'm going to miss seeing them every day, as cheesy as that sounds. Um, I'm going to miss the adventure of it all. Uh, we've got to shoot in three different locations, which is really awesome. We've seen some amazing places around the world, um, and you know, we've had so much fun. But I also know that we'll continue to meet up and we'll continue to hang out and have many more adventures. I don't think they even know what it is, but they know they have a connection. Um, and it's such a strong connection that even when their relationship is at rock bottom or things are incredibly difficult and, you know, the world is crumbling around them, they, um, they know that they are connected in a way that they might not even understand. And in this movie, it's really important for her to see if her work is, is being done, if, if, the, if her choice was worth it or not. Um, she wants more than anything to find a cure. That's all she's ever wanted. Uh, and this film is all about exploring, you know, can she do that? In the third movie, I have some great scenes with Ki Hong, actually, which was really exciting to shoot because he's such a talented actor. Um, and we have a really, really great scene together. It's just the two of us in a room. Uh, so it was interesting to get to explore that dynamic because, again, we haven't really seen that before. Uh, we had a wonderful time in Cape Town. That was really magical for us because we were in somewhere completely different and uh, we learned about a really beautiful country and we were able to meet some amazing people that we never would have before. Uh, and we got to kind of, you know, we went on a boat trip together and we did safari together and kind of really got to do some fun activities. For them to be able to really find out everything and get all the answers that they've been looking for, that's what I'm kind of excited for. I mean, it's, it's one of my favorite things about these films is the aesthetic of it, that they are so unique. And, um, and that's just so cool to see so many different feels of a place in, in one story. Uh, this one, again, is totally different. We are in basically the last city, the last surviving urban utopia. Um, and it kind of looks like a really great place to live on the surface. You know, everyone is still going to work. There are running transport. There's electricity. Um, and then you start to see, you know, just on the outskirts, the reality of what the majority of the population are living as. Um, so we get to kind of, you know, there's a bit of a scorched trials feel to it as well, especially at the beginning. Uh, and then we're suddenly transported into what is essentially the lost city, the last place where you can kind of, you know, see uh, an urban metropolis. She genuinely had a realization and uh, she had to trust her own instincts. And uh, what I tried to do with her, especially in Scorch Trials, was have a very slow build up of this feeling that things aren't right and that she needs to do something different. It wasn't like, you know, she wakes up one morning and decides, I'm going to betray you all. Uh, this is something that's been playing on her mind and that she feels like she has nowhere to turn with it. Uh, she knows that Thomas is firmly against anything like that. So it's a personal thing for her. Um, I don't think she sees it as a betrayal because I think she genuinely knows that she does love them and that she wants them to be safe just as much as anyone else. Um, and she wants them to be okay, but she just knows that she can see it in a different light.